Hello everyone, Vec here with a quick tutorial on how to use the Starbow Ladder at eros.starbowmod.com. First of all, the first thing you need to do is go to starbowmod.com right here. When you do that, you will look at this page. There's a lot of good information on here, including links to the forums, ladders, etc. But the thing that we want to focus on right now is this register button right up here. Go ahead and click that, and you'll be taken to a page where you can register for a starbowmod.com account. Go ahead and enter the username that you would like to be represented by. Uh, it helps if this username does match up with your Battle.net account names, if at all possible, just to limit the confusion uh, when you're trying to make matches with your future opponents. You also need to use an email address and click that register button. When you do that, you'll be taken to a Mozilla Persona window where you'll have to set up a Mozilla Persona account. You already have one of those. Terrific. Not a problem. Uh, after going through a few steps there, eventually you will have a StarboMod.com account. So, once you have an account set up, you will see a few important links. First of all, you can click on your own name up here in the top right, and it will take you to um, a page that links to both the Eros matchmaking system, as well as your own ladder account. So if you go to your ladder profile, you can see your match history, your, your records on different regions, as well as the games that you've been playing. Pretty nice, we're going to see, okay, have I played this player before? Oh, looks like last time I played Born, I lost. <laughs> That's pretty common for me. <laughs> so anyway, though, you can go ahead and use this button right here to go to the Eros matchmaking system, or if you go back to the StarboMod.com main page, you can also just click play. Both of those links will take you to Eros. So once you are on Eros, you'll be looking at something like this. <clears throat> you'll have your account name up here, you'll be able to switch languages if you need to. And you'll be able to see your own account, as well as everybody who is currently online. Uh, here in the middle we have a nice chat window where you can see players talking. Here's people trying to talk to me right now. As well as everybody listed online along with their current ladder rankings over here. Players with uh, an A next to their name are generally at the top of the ladder. E's are at the bottom of the ladder. And we all have color codes there to help you out. You can also see who is currently queuing. So right now on North American server, there's one player currently searching for a game and there are 17 players online. So the first thing we need to do though before we can get a match is to add a Battle.net profile. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on this button right here in this red area. Now we're going to add a North American profile, so we're going to go ahead and click NA. Now what this is going to do is take you to the Battle.net login page. So just log in with your usual Battle.net credentials. And just like that, your account can be verified on Eros. You might have some sort of error message to come up talking about a self-certified certificate uh, for security reasons. Go ahead and accept that uh, or ignore the warnings or whatever kind of buttons you need to press right there. Uh, it's not that we don't have security on the website, it's just that it is self-certified. So my account has now been verified. I can go back to Eros and now you'll see that the North American continent is showing up here in the top right. You can also add accounts for EU and Korea as well. You just do that in very much the same way. So, now that we uh, have an account here, we can go ahead and click the NA, and now we're ready to queue. Search radius right here is something that you will set in order to determine um, how far the matchmaker is going to look within the range of players to match you up with players. So if you set it to 5, it will match you with any player. If you only set it to 1, it will only match you with players who are similar MMR, or matchmaking rating system. So. One, if you only plan to play similarly skilled players. Five, if you're going to play any players out there. While you're doing your placement matches, you probably want to set it to five. So let's go ahead, and um, there's also a way that you can do map vetoes. Click on map vetoes right here. You can veto out certain maps. Uh, if you're not very familiar with Starbow, you can always just uh, get a feel for all of them and then go ahead and veto them later. So let's go ahead and hit the Q button and see if we can find a match here. All right, right away, we've gotten a match against Fuse. He is also a C-rank player. Uh, with 2245 points right now. So, what the next thing we want to do is talk to Fuse. So the nice thing is, right here on the left side, you can see this is the chat channel menu. So over here on the left side, there's a new chat channel that's just been opened with Fuse. Right now, myself and Fuse are both in here. I can say, hello, Fuse. I'll, uh... And then you can you can try to talk to them about, you know, who's going to make the map, etc. So how do I find Fuse in Battle.net? There's a few different ways to do that. Let's go ahead and go over to StarCraft 2 and look at what we got here. First of all, one thing you can do is go to the Starbow chat channel and just look for your opponent there. How do you do chat channels? Right here on the right side of Battle.net, you can just type in Starbow, hit enter, 
And we're immediately in the Starboat Chat Channel. We can actually see Fuse is right here, right now. The other way that we can find our opponent, in case they're not in that chat channel, is to go back over here to Eros and click Copy Chat Name. This will bring up a little menu that has a custom chat channel name you can copy to your clipboard. And then come back over to StarCraft 2. Paste that right here in the chat channel. And it'll open this up. And look, there he is there as well. So there's Fuse. And now from here, we can invite each other to the game. Looks like he's already in the lobby, so he might have already made it. So, the next question is, what map are we going to be playing on? We are going to be playing on Starbo Match Point 2.0. There's a couple of ways that we can get to that now. We can hit Go to Map, in which case it will actually open up um, a lot uh, the menu to create a lobby with Match Point 2.0. We're going to decline real quick. <laughs> Let him know that we're, uh, we will be back. So if we do that, we go to Map. StarCraft 2 is going to go ahead and it's going to open up that menu. Well, after it opens my battle net launcher. At least it should. Okay, come on. Maybe I needed to have that battle net and let that launcher open. We're going to try it again. Here it is. Okay, Starbo, match point 2.0. Go ahead and hit create game. The other way to do that is to actually just go over to the arcade and search for the, the name. And that will work as well. I recommend bookmarking all the Starbo maps in the arcade. That's the way that I generally do it. Now importantly, if you use the link from Eros to create the lobby, the game speed will be set to normal. You need to make sure that you change that to faster before you invite your opponent, okay? That's pretty important. So all we'd have to do then is right click on Fuse and invite him to the game. Right now he's in the lobby so we can't invite him because he's already in that lobby. So one of you will create the lobby and invite the other one to it and you'll go ahead and play your game. Now after you've played the game you're going to need to go back to Eros and you're going to need to do one of these options here. Um, forfeit, upload the re or upload the replay. You can also potentially report a no-show or request a draw if necessary. So if you, uh, if you match the player and they don't respond, maybe they went AFK and forgot that they were queuing, you can report a no-show, and after a, a countdown timer, eventually it'll just give you a walkover and you'll take the win because they didn't show up. Now, at the end of a game, depending on who won, somebody is going to upload the replay, or potentially the other player can forfeit. If you're the winning player, all you need to do is up click on this Upload Replay button, choose File, and then find the replay uh, in, your, in your computer. The way that you're usually going to find that is you're going to need to go to Documents, StarCraft 2, find the account, for example, my North American account is number one here. Go to Replays, Multiplayer, and then search through your, your replay folders to find that replay of that game that you just played. The other option is, if you're the losing player, you can always just hit the Forfeit button instead. So if you win, upload the replay. If you lost, you can forfeit or allow the other player to upload the replay. Either one works. After you've done that, the game counts, it registers it on the ladder, gives the winning player points, takes away points from the losing player, and you're ready to queue again. Once again, my name is Vec. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you have a, a better understanding of how to use Eros here. If you ever need to uh, see this information again, you can always watch the video again or click how to play right here. And there's a great infographic that you can read that goes over all this information once again. Thanks for watching.